Now, if I did my measurements correctly, this will go into there. Okay. And I took the tray off just for fitting, fitment reasons. <gasps> oh, look at that. So that, of course, it's crooked. There's no tray on it. But hey, look at that. That's what the tray is going to look like. And the autopilot will be just above the controls. So as you're here, you can just come up. Boom, 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 boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That looks nice. Time for a Mountain Dew on this one. Step one on installing the Trio Autopilot is we're gonna go ahead and mount this. And then we're gonna start running some wires. Woohoo! Now that is the amount of fabrication I like to do. Absolutely none. Went in there, just used the existing brackets and holes and it bolted right in no fabrication no anything needed and the gap i think is pretty darn good around it too so we'll just need a little plate to go across the top and then that should be it and the 830 will go over here we'll make a plate for that but uh hey it's looking good now let's connect it all right now things get a little complicated and this is why i went with approach fast stack to begin with because everything with them is plug and play and maybe i should call him and ask him if he offers a harness because all these wires right here are bare now the approach cable i got this one right here he sent me these and they've already got the pins on them and the pins are labeled and numbered awesome thank you tim for that Whereas the, uh, the other guys, Trio, are not. They're just color-coded. Whereas these, and they're even labeled. Let's see if I can get that in there. See, it's ground, audio in, GMA audio, all that stuff. And then I have to look through all the color codes on here and connect them to where they need to go. So we got a pilot switch over here, which is two of these. And then we have the data coming in, which are these right here. So that one was pretty easy. That, that one was already labeled and everything. So I just have to pop those pins out, put these pins in. And then the rest of it, we get to just do boring, tedious, detailed wiring work. And that was why I didn't want to do all that stuff in the harnesses with all the other stuff. So Tim, here is if you don't already have it, I'm going to give you a call. But if you don't already have it, harness for this, and it has the leads that go, you know, all the way out to the servos would be awesome. So this is not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. So you just identify the number here, like that one is number 13. And then it's got little numbers. I'd be amazed if you could actually see them on this camera. But numbers lined up. Yeah, you're not gonna see them. Anyway, there's numbers on the back of this and you line that up and then I pull it out a little bit so I can isolate it. And then I go to this. So number 13 is the yellow one. Yellow one. Number 13, trust but verify. And then, now I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand, but you just pull it out. No, no. Okay. So do that. And then these, they just pull out. So hang on a second. Oh, hey, look at that. So you just pull it like this and pop it out. Ta-da. And then you take number 13, this one, confirm the number, confirm the spot again, number 13, and then all you do is just push it in until you hear a little click. And then check it. That's it. So yeah, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And... Make sure to run the wire through this one, not on the outside, and you gotta pull them all back out again. So, all right, not, not as big a deal as I thought. So Tim, still would be a great idea, and if you had the harness, I would have bought it from you. 
uh, that had all this stuff in, in it and everything too. But this is not too bad. Not near as difficult as what I thought it was going to be. So make progress. Boom, boom. Just got off the phone with Jeff over at the STC group. Super great guy. Yep. So all of these that say reserved, there's seven wires in total. They don't get used. So we just, he said to either, you know, just shrink them, heat shrink them so they're out of the way. So you don't have exposed ends like that and just zip tie them up out of the way. And he said in the future, because of how the FC or the FAA works, they had to get approval for certain things at this time and that time. One of the things is an automatic trim, which they did not get approval for, like the other one, the True Track didn't either. So uh, those are two of the wires that they're just leaving out there so that you can upgrade that in the future. But for right now, they're not being used. And I do not have this hooked into a fuel system that tells me the level of fuel or any of that kind of stuff. So I don't need any of those wires either which made my life a heck of a lot easier because that means more than half of these go away. They're not being used. Sweet, just power and ground and light. Done, boom. At this stage of the autopilot installation, I am gonna now finally be removing the old servos. That one and the one that's way back in there in the, in the darkness. I waited to remove those things because that's kind of a no going back point. Once I remove those, that's it. Now I decided, I was thinking about this one on this bracket. I'm going to leave that bracket in place because there's a few rivets on this side that go into that bracket and it's kind of an important piece. So I'm just going to leave that there, uh, take everything out. You know, take the wiring, all that stuff out of it to clean everything up. Now that one back there, everything has to come out of that one. So that's that's going to be an interesting one to get to. And it's, yeah, you only got about a, a foot on each side. And then you got the cables running in the middle. So that's going to be really uncomfortable. And another appointment to the chiropractor. Fantastic. Yay. <sighs> oh, other good news. So this wiring harness right here, that one, red is roll, see? And then you got back in black. Oh, I've already ran it. It's this one that has black tape on it right here. Back in black and red is roll. This has to go through there and it has to go all the way out there, way past everything. So you know what I get to do? I get to take that fuel tank off again for the like eighth time or fourth time or something on that one. <sighs> That's fun, fuel tank, yay! Oh, I'm not looking forward to that part because there's no other way to get the wiring routed where it has to be routed. So it is what it is. One step or one step forward, two steps back. Sometimes it feels that way. All right, well, let's rock and roll this thing, baby. Woo! Well, we got the easy one out of the way and done. That was the white cable that was wrapped up with that as well. Got the cables that were routed all the way around through there, looped there a dozen times and up in there. And the cable also went from this side. Ow over here and through here and through here and through here and then up and around and around and around and over there over to the trim button for the disconnect switch here for the old autopilot and now we get to deal with the fun one so yeah that's fun okay yeah oh good okay yeah, that one, it's gotta come out. No, whoa, there's, ow, golly guards. Ow, okay, you can cut on everything. Here's what it looks like. So we got that back there, all these cables here. Got a bracket right there, a box right there that we can't get on. And over here, we got a servo there we can't lean on. And we got wires under this thing 
Those are all right to lean on. Do it on that side. Then we got brackets over here and wires, and it's the same situation over there. So, okay. All right. Let's get at it. Now that I've hurt myself and dislocated my shoulder, I got that servo out. I got the clamps off of it. The bracket is still in there. It was riveted in place. I'm gonna look at removing that whenever we install the bracket for the other servo that's gotta go back there. And also we have computer brackets that went here and another one there. So we'll look at those as well. Cleaned it up, got the wiring out, and of course it ran all the way from in the back up to the front. And now we have to fix the pitch trim on the yoke because it's all hooked in totally differently with this autopilot. So we got some more soldering to do. Oh boy, that was unpleasant. Okay, now next is I think just finishing up the wiring and under the dash stuff and then we can start mounting mounting uh, servos on the wings sweet all right 